Hey guys, uh, looking at chapter 28. Um, just a funny thing that you might find humorous, may not. Every time I open these videos with the hey guys, my dogs like jump out of their sleep because I think I'm saying hi to some like coming into my house. But um, and then they realize I'm just doing these videos again and they go back to sleeping. So uh, we're looking at chapter 28. Uh, not a whole lot I have to talk about today, but I do want to introduce a little bit of a assignment that I'm going to be giving to you. A um, little project that I want you to work on. You're going to have plenty of time to work on it, but I'll go over that at the end of this video. Um, chapter 28, Making Right Decisions. Real quick, a couple jokes uh, for you. Um, my wife found out I was cheating after she found the letters I was hiding. She got mad and said she's never going to play Scrabble with me again. Um... Let's see. Honestly, I don't mind leg day at the gym. It's just the two days after that I can't stand. Um, I'm addicted to ordering hatchets from other countries because of the smell. I love foreign axe scents. What sounds like a sneeze and is made of leather? A shoe. Uh, let's see. Here's one that's kind of a Bible joke, I guess you could say. Uh, the oldest computer can be traced to Adam and Eve. Yes, it was an apple, but with an extremely limited memory. Just one bite. Then everything crashed. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, That's a nice ham you've got there. It would be a shame if someone put an S at the front and an E at the end. I have a condition that makes me eat when I can't sleep. It's called insom nom 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 nia. All right, that's it for jokes for today. All right, so making right decisions, chapter 28. Um, a large section of this chapter is looking at Martin Luther, probably somebody we're familiar with, but looking at the story a little bit. But the key points that hopefully you'll get from looking at this chapter, um, uh, the key decision of life is whether or not we have decided to follow God completely. So there's parts to that. Follow God, well, follow, all right, God, and then completely, all right, each of those being an important part of that. So again, the key decision of life is whether or not we have decided to follow God completely. Additionally, we must take decisive steps to stay away from evil. We must also take decisive steps to stand for right. All right, it's not just enough to be away from wrong, but we need to make sure we're choosing to do what is right and to stand for what is right. Um, and then lastly, um, learning to make right decisions uh, is a sign of maturity. So again, the four key things from this lesson, the key decision of life is whether or not we have decided to follow God completely. We must take decisive steps to stay away from evil. We must take decisive steps to stand for right. And then lastly, learning to make right decisions is a sign of maturity. Um, so as we look at um, this whole book, we've talked about spiritual growth, spiritual wisdom, and spiritual maturity. And uh, you know, as we do this, I'm not asking you to do this as an assignment, um, but even within one day or within the week, uh, make it a point to think about the decisions, big or small, that you make throughout the course of a day. There's a lot of them. You know, it might even be the silly things like, what am I going to eat for lunch or breakfast or dinner or whatever it might be. 
Um, but in the course of a day, you make a ton of decisions. You don't think, you think I'm a seventh grader, I'm a middle schooler. Um, my parents tell me what to do. My teachers are sending me assignments and telling me what to do. I don't have decisions to make, they're just made for me. But no, even if you take out all those things, you still have a lot of decisions you make within a day. So as we look at making right decisions, again, make it a point to look at your day and say, um, you know, what decisions have I had to make today? What decisions do I still have to make with the remainder of the day that I have before me? Um, and as you do that, I want you to think about the fact that making right decisions is a key part of spiritual wisdom and maturity. It is a process that we must work on daily. Uh, it, it, and, you know, as we talk about this growth throughout this chapter that we've looked at through the year, um, and then, um, you know, as we go through, as you go from middle school to high school, uh, the spiritual maturity and the spiritual wisdom it's not just going to come automatically one day it's not going to happen just because um, a birthday comes and you reach a certain age all right it's a process one that we have to put effort into as we've talked about with several of these chapters before all right um, but then we look at uh, Martin Luther a lot of this chapter is about Martin Luther and there's no uh, teacher's lesson uh, that's kind of the whole thing that we're looking at there and kind of the summary of making the right decisions. There's a little bit uh, that you'll look at in the chapter uh, about uh, some uh, people and the decisions that needed to be made um, and then deciding to stay away from evil and deciding to stand for right, those two things. And we see what Martin Luther had to do as we look through that story. So make sure you're reading the story of Martin Luther and then answering the questions. Um, but he had to make a lot of tough decisions. Uh, he decided to stand for or against many attitudes and practices of the people at the time. You know, on several occasions it was very difficult because he was standing against what many people uh, believed to be correct. Uh, but he stuck with it, and by standing for what was right, he was able to influence the hearts and minds of millions of people. All right, and you might not feel like you have that kind of impact uh, at this point. Um, because you don't feel like you have the influence of Martin Luther, uh, somebody who we still talk about today, but uh, it, within your environment, um, in a class, in a school, or wherever you might be, there are opportunities to either um, just go along with everyone else that's doing something wrong or to stand for what is right. It's not just enough to say, hey, I'm not going to do that with them, but to stand for what is right. So doing more than just um, staying away from that, but making sure that you're doing what is right. So again, stand for um, the right and make sure you are staying away from the evil. So tough choices to make, but we have to make sure we're making those decisions. Um, it's very important. So again, uh, Martin Luther is a good example for us to look at. Um, but I am going to have you guys do a bit of a project here. That's all I'm going to talk about with this chapter. I don't have a lot to share other than that. Um, but uh, the uh, project I'm going to have, your look, have you do is you're going to find a Bible character. And I'm going to be asking you, I'm going to send you guys a document that's going to help you understand all you need to do. But just to give you a little summary, and you can feel free to send me any questions you might have. Um, but about making right decisions. You're going to find a Bible character. I'm going to provide you some examples. Um, but Bible characters that either made right decisions or um, made wrong decisions. And I'm going to ask you to write about them. I'm going to provide you with the details. Um, say you choose a uh, character who makes right decisions. You know, I want you to say you know what what the purpose was that God had for them what obstacles that they faced what evil they had to stay away from or deal with in their ministry uh, what good they had to stand for or what the results of that and what the results of that ministry were so those concepts again I'm gonna have this in a document for you uh, so you'll be able to uh, see that sorry I'm a little out of focus but not important um, or you can choose a Bible character who did not make the right decisions and went the wrong direction with their decisions that they made. Um, I've provided you some examples. If you want to think of a, um, a character who made the right decisions, you could look at uh, John the Baptist or Paul or Stephen. Again, I'm not sure why I'm blurry right now, but... 
That's okay. Again, John the Baptist, Paul, Stephen, Elijah, Elisha, Noah, Joseph, Moses, Joshua, Esther, Deborah, or Caleb. Uh, so several options there. It doesn't have to be one of those, but those are just some options for you of someone who made right decisions. Um, on the other side, if you choose someone who made wrong decisions, you could look at Aaron or Judas or Samson or Jonah, um, Cain or Ananias and Sapphira. Um, so again, uh, I'm asking you, the document I have, there are several pages you can write on. I want it to be two pages, so like a front and a back is fine. It doesn't have to be four total pages. It has to be two total pages, so like a front and a back is all you need. Uh, but just make sure you're covering the concepts that I lay out in the doc, uh, assignment. Again, I'll be sending that to you uh, when I send you the link for this video, so you should have both at the same time. Um, but feel free to ask me any questions you might have. This won't be due until um, April the 17th, okay? Um, we have this week of the, the things you need to do, and then you have a week off for Easter break. You don't have to do anything for my class during that time. You can work on your pro this project a little bit if you want, but it's not due. Um, you have basically three weeks to get it done. This week, um, this the Easter break week, and the week after that. So plenty of time uh, to get it done. Uh, it's just an extra uh, additional thing in, in addition to the notes uh, for chapters 27 and 28 for this week. Um, but I've given you a few weeks to get it done. Uh, but feel free to contact me if you have any questions about that. Um, again, it should be, um, you can use your Bible, obviously. You can use an internet resource if you'd like. Um, but again, feel free to ask me any questions that you might have. So again, making right decisions. Uh, hopefully we can see a little bit there from the Bible and the character you choose. Uh, but also the story of Martin Luther, one that's pretty familiar, I think, to a lot of us. But please read that. Uh, and... Uh, uh, answer the questions there and then uh, good luck on the project uh, and again let me know if you have any questions all right let's pray dear lord again we thank you for this day lord we thank you for uh, the opportunity to although we're not in person and not in the classroom to gather and uh, uh, look through these things and uh, your word and then this uh, book um, that we've been going through this year lord i pray that you'll be with each of the students uh, as they're uh, separated from us now, and Lord, help them to get done the things that they uh, need to, and help us as teachers and staff and as families to do that as well. Uh, in this uh, different um, time, it's something that none of us have ever dealt with before. Uh, yes, I'm a good bit older than the students, but still not something I've dealt with in my lifetime. So Lord, help us all to uh, be trusting in you and um, see your will through all of this. Lord, this wasn't a surprise to you as much as it was to us, if not to you. Uh, so help us to um, uh, realize that and to trust you uh, and your perfect will in this situation. Lord, I pray that you'll be with us to make the right decisions, to help us to stand for what is right, uh, and to stay away from what is wrong. Uh, and it's a, a difficult thing for each of us to do, uh, to uh, not necessarily just to fit in, but to do uh, what you would have us to do more than what uh, someone around us might prefer that we do. So again, help us to strive to uh, please you with the decisions that we make and help us to uh, stay close to you in order to make uh, those right decisions. Uh, we'll thank you for all that you do. In your name we pray. Amen.